News today, if you were paying attention, and that's the kind of announcement of Alio A6. We'll talk about why it's a kind of in just a little bit. This is not a surprise. We'll talk about that in just a little bit too. And ultimately see if there's a project that has been down this road that can teach me and you something about what might happen in Alio's future and what we could take advantage of. So why this is kind of an announcement is I can't find it on the actual hardware manufacturer's websites or their Twitters or, or anything really out there, but I found this on the mining distributors' websites that are listed on there, and they're reputable ones from Crypto Miner Bros to Mineshop.eu, and they're very reputable in the space, so I got to believe this is true. And so what you're looking at on miningnow.com is the first two Alio ASICs. I'm sure there'll be many more to come, but this is from the typical kids on the block is Ice River and Gold Shell releasing their classic at home kind of smaller versions of these ASICs. I'm sure the big boy ones are right around the corner and many, many, many more after that. I think we've been through this before. If you know what I mean, we'll talk about that later in this video as well, where we speculate on where this could all go. But why this is not a surprise is that back in October of 2023, Bitmain announced that they plan to launch the Alio Antminer, which is Antminer is their brand of ASIC miners. And so none of this was a surprise. This was always coming and that's fine. I'm not mad about it as a GPU miner it was always in the cards. But really, we're going to see what the future brings. I'm a big fan of Alio, by the way. This is not a shill. I'm not sponsored by them. I've just did a ton of personal research into the project. If you don't know about them, Alio.org. Link will be down in the description. What they're aiming to do on their unique blockchain is solve scalability, privacy, and decentralization all in one. No other layer two, layer three solutions here. It's all in one from day one. It's not a copy paste. It's not a fork. It's its own thing. And it's been years in the making. And it says something to me. When on mainnet launch, they were right on Coinbase, one of the biggest exchanges on the planet. So take that as what you will. But anyway, going back to these miners, Ice River, the Alio AE0 just completely blows out of the water the reported performance of the Gold Shell AE box. We're not even going to pay attention to that one. Let's go check out the Ice River because that deserves my attention. Again, ignore all of this profitability, but... What I'm looking at here is the hash rate and the power, which is incredibly efficient compared to GPUs. So one thing before somebody makes a comment in the comment section, I know we're going to talk mega hash per second. I know Elio is zero knowledge proofs. I know it's doing proving. It's not doing hashing. It doesn't matter. We're going to keep rolling on here. So the best performing as of right now graphics card on Elio is the 4090, I mined it at its most efficient settings and it's giving 1.6 mega hash for 350 watts. So not even close to what this Ice River Alio miner can do. So let's check that out a little further just to drive the point home. Over on what's a mine here, that 4090 would bring home 1.8 Alio per day. The Ice River would bring home 61 Alio per day. Obviously, incredibly more profitable versus the 4090. But again, none of this is really a surprise. Other things I was considering is like, what do I want to do here? Because I've mined Alio. In fact, we can go take a look. There it is. I've mined um, 800 Alio. And I'm super happy with all of that. I'm holding on to that bag. Maybe I'll get it staking. I got to figure out what to do with it. But I'm kind of like, what do I do now? Like, what does the future bring? And I've looked for little hints here and there because the Alio price transparently has been on a roller coaster down. You know, since mainnet launch, where it went up to six dollars and fifty cents, and then it's just really plummeted down, sub one dollar, to where it is now about sixty cents. I'm like, is that because ASICs have already hit the network? And typically you would see that come up in the network hash rate, but I don't see anything super obvious here yet. This is the network hash rate going back through September. Typically you would see a huge spike, but in fact, this network hash rate just continues to go down. It's possible that so many GPUs are coming off that as 
ASICs join, you don't see as much as an impact and it's not as obvious, but it's curious that there's no like spike in any of this yet. And what I've been thinking a little further than that is what does the future bring and what do I want to do? Because this all feels very familiar to a cryptocurrency that we know and love that has been down this road before, and that is Caspa. So Caspa, mined on my GPUs, mined on FPGAs, then obviously it is dominated by ASICs now. And what I was curious around was like, what actually happened to the price once the ASICs came online? So I was looking over on what to mine for all the ASICs that came out, and I have one, it doesn't make money, so it's not on right now. But it looks like some of those first ASICs were in September of 2023 is when they were released. So probably announced just a little before that and released in September 2023. Now, when I look at Casper's price chart here, if I go to around that time, talking August and September, we're looking at like three cents per Caspa. And then by the end of the year, it just goes berserk, goes up to 14 cents. We hit an all-time high of 20 cents and then has stayed above 10 cents ever since. And so the question then is, did that happen because of ASICs? And that is the play here. When ASICs come on the network, the network difficulty goes up dramatically, which reduces the amount of, in this case, ALIO that's getting paid out to you know an individual miner because the difficulty goes up so much. So like my GPUs will make way, 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 way less than they make now once the ACEs come online and does that then drive up the price? Or do the mining manufacturers of this hardware drive up the price as well? There's always speculation around that. So what's the play? I still have a rig on Alio as of making this video. I took a couple others off recently to put them onto Zealous. But do I want to get some GPUs back on Alio, get as much as I can before it's too late so I can realize potential gains in price later? What would you guys do? Let me know down in the comment section. And if you haven't mined Alio yet and you're looking for the most efficient overclocks for your 30 series, or your 40 series cards, I have a video that's on the screen right here to get you started mining Alio, perhaps before it's too late. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed the video. Like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU mining content. And please take care of yourself and each other. And I'll see you in the next video.